Mark Rosengarten. Welcome to... Ask Rosengarten. Welcome to the Tuesday edition of Ask Rosengarten. Today we've got a question from Mario McLean. It's a very interesting question. It says, how many atoms are contained in 4.5 nanograms of carbon? Well, actually, this is an interesting question because it involves both a little stoichiometry and it involves doing some metric conversions. Now, carbon has a gramatomic mass of 12.0 grams per mole. But you see, this is a nanogram. So we've got to find out how many grams this is before we can do this. So let's figure it out. 4.5 nanograms. Now a nanogram is a billionth of a gram, or 10 to the minus ninth grams. And a gram is 10 to the zero. It's the unit measurement. So there's nine powers of 10 difference between nanograms and grams. That's one followed by nine zeros. And that's in nanograms per gram. Now, because we've got nanograms that we're trying to solve for, and nanograms is in the numerator of our conversion factor, we have to divide in order to cancel nanograms out and be left with grams. A nanogram, do, 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 do. A nanogram, do, 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 do. A nanogram. This comes out to 4.5 times 10 to the negative ninth grams. Now, since carbon weighs 12.0 grams per mole, again, we've got grams we're trying to solve for. Grams is in the numerator of our conversion factor, so we have to divide by 12.0 grams per mole so that grams will cancel out. And this comes out to 3.8 times 10 to the negative 10th moles of carbon. Okay, so that's moles of carbon. Now we're not entirely done yet because the question asks how many atoms are contained. Well, you've got this many moles of atoms, but that's not going far enough. How do we convert moles to atoms? Well, there are 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms per mole. So if we take moles and we're trying to solve for moles, which is in the denominator this time, we multiply to cancel out moles. And this comes out to 2.3 times 10 to the 14th atoms of carbon. Now 4.5 nanograms is not a lot. It's four and a half billionths of a gram. And yet still, even though you have such an incredibly tiny number of grams, there are so many atoms in a mole that you still end up with a gigantic number of atoms, but still not even a number of atoms that you could see without a serious microscope. Just to put this in perspective, one mole, or 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of water, occupies about 18 milliliters of water. All right, an amount that you can kind of barely work with. It won't even satisfy your thirst unless, you know, it's the only thing you got around. So those are the steps, and that's the way it usually is in chemistry. Usually it's not just one step and problem solved. That's not the way it usually works. You usually have to make use of a multitude of different skills in order to get to where you want to go. In this case, in order to find out how many atoms we have, we have to find out how many grams this represents, how many moles it represents, and then convert those moles into atoms. This is a three-step problem, but as you see, each step is fairly simple. It's just knowing how to get from where you start to where you're going to end, and then getting there. Unfortunately, that's all the time I have to tackle questions today. It's Regents Week here in New York State, and I'm giving my Regents exam on Thursday, so things are a little bit crazy this week. I'll get to at least one question each day, but I can't guarantee past that. Also, I want to let you guys know, I am a high school chemistry teacher, 
Okay, so if you send me college questions, I may not be able to get to them for a while because I'm going to have to relearn some stuff I haven't seen in, oh, 24 years or so. Eventually, I'll be able to get to them, but this week is going to be a little bit tight what with these Regents exams going on, okay? If you have any further questions you'd like to ask me regarding chemistry, particularly at the high school level, please email me at askrosengarten at gmail.com. So what are you waiting for? Ask Rosengarten. An anagram. Do, 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 do. An anagram. Do, 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 do. An anagram. Do, 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 do